Taking your child to the emergency room is terrifying, even just the idea of it, especially when split-second decisions can make the difference between life and death. Of course, doctors and nurses train for such emergencies, and when they practice, they want the exercise to be as realistic as it can possibly be. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra shows us how a new $50,000 simulator is helping them better prepare to save a child's life. What happened? Meet Hal 3201, the world's most advanced pretend pediatric patient. His whole goal is to save your child's life in an emergency by letting doctors and other health care professionals practice on him first. <laughs> When it comes to medical simulators, Hal has all the bells and whistles. The simulator can react, and he can speak, cry, and bleed. Features pediatric simulators before Hal did not have. He has um, interactive eyes mm -hmm. and facial features. Um, so you can see he's blinking. His um, pupils will react to light. Um, so he's making a different facial feature right now. He's looking like he's in some pain. When you practice CPR on Hal, you can put a breathing tube in him and check oxygen levels with a finger monitor. You can also place an IV in him, stick a needle in his chest for a collapsed lung, even check a finger stick blood sugar and get a result. That hurts! He has reservoirs for his various fluids to make the experience authentic. Over the past year, local emergency room staff, EMTs, students, doctors, and nurses have all used HAL to learn and be better prepared. HAL's even made rounds to local pediatricians' offices. The pediatric office isn't always a place where they get a very intense situation. So we put them in situations where they had to locate their emergency equipment, um, maybe put uh, place defibrillator pads on the patient to check his heart rhythm, um, call 911, um, access their, you know, their emergency supply to make sure that they were prepared if something really does happen. Your heart rate starts to go up, your blood pressure to go up, you start to sweat a little bit. And he starts looking around and he starts talking and everybody was freaking out just for a moment. Before when we did this with standard mannequins, um, you didn't have that somebody was over your shoulder saying, oh, your patient is now turning blue. Uh, whereas now, you're assessing the patient and you see, oh, Hal's turning blue. It was scary at first, just because you, you don't expect him, his eyes were blinking looking at you, the blue around the lips. You don't expect it because he looks like a doll. They loved it, yeah. They all practiced CPR, they got to see their feedback. So you were able to tell whether or not you were doing it correctly and it was a big, bigger learning experience than the ones that don't have any kind of response. The next step is to study whether practicing on HAL makes a real life difference in outcomes for patients. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.